the like half fifth KFC mug. Yeah. And he put check your brother's hard drive. As in, like, <laughs> the man was like, oh Scott, like what? Like, what is it about younger girls? <laughs> oh really? And, yeah, you may work out, get up every day, and have like dietitians that are making all these things, and that's how you maintain your amazing mm -hmm. bodies. But you did not get that from that. The like semi-finals <gasps> on my birthday. I hope England's there. Make it worthwhile. Hi guys, welcome back to another video. It's Melody and Amy, and today we are bringing you a KFC mukbang. Woo! We love KFC mukbang, don't we? We do. It's all oh good. my god, this is like our fifth KFC mukbang. Yeah, but we love it. We love them. It's our go-to. Disclaimer: the chairs are wobbly. Oh yeah. But who cares? They're a bit squeaky. I'm starving. Yes. Let's eat. Oh my god, I'm so hungry. Mm. I got a burger and some yeah. hot wings and some chips. I don't know why I get the chips because there's only one like chips. We have this conversation every time. Mm. I love the chips. I chips. Um, I got a vegan burger, says it right there. <laughs> And chips and an oreo cushion can i just say it was amy's idea to go to kfc she's vegetarian but it was her idea i did ask where she wanted to go it's just quick easy and they have a vegan burger which makes me happy which is so nice too mm -hmm. to be fair i haven't had the chicken one in a long time what go do you normally get that looks really different to usual it does look a bit dark doesn't it it's just burnt maybe yeah maybe <gasps> Usually they look identical, don't they? Oh. Yeah, I always usually get the vegan one because it's just so similar. Come on, but I need more of a chicken. You just get chicken when you go. Not burger. Mm. Probably gonna be a lot of um, eating with a mouth, uh, talking with a mouthful. Mm -hmm. PSA. Don't watch these vids if we don't like it. Public service announcement. What's the date today? 30th of June. It's the 30th of June. Green watch this day. Indeed. You guys have probably seen this probably when it's red list. <laughs> no, you'll see this like a few weeks later. Maybe. Anyone going no. anywhere? Yeah. Comment down below. I'll be very jealous and I'd love to know. Mm. Live vicariously for you. Mm -hmm. Hopefully, we both get one sunny holiday in this year. Yeah, I think we will. I will try. <laughs> <laughs> I really hope. Like, I never really cared. Like, Last year, I remember like everyone kept saying like, "What do you miss? What do you miss?" I was like, "The club," and you, you and Eddie were like, "I want a holiday," and I was like, "I just don't care." Like, I wanted my England life back before I wanted my abroad life, but now, get me on holiday. That is mad. How long it's been since we've been to a club? Mm -mm. It's crazy, isn't it? I feel so sorry for that industry. Massively. Oh my god. Because like, realistically, obviously, I know the numbers in a club and their like proximity is slightly different, but. If casual sex is allowed, <laughs> that's more so this is what's going to happen in a club. I don't actually know what the rules are. I think casual sex is allowed. I love it when you put your chips in your program, it makes me laugh. That sounds very passionate. Do you want me to say it again? We honestly have these conversations every month round. Otherwise, I'm eating bun with mayo in the middle. So I'm, I'm filling up the gaps. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm going to ask again. <laughs> I didn't ask. <laughs> yeah, I just feel sad. For them. Mm -hmm. I was saying earlier, I felt sorry for Wayne Linker with no matter who Wayne Linker was. Is there anything proven against him? I know it's probably quite likely that he's been with underage girls, but. I don't know, I saw this thing on Twitter. I don't really, I don't get the original tweet, but the sub tweet was funny. Um, Wayne Linker tweeted, check me. As mm -hmm. in, uh, they must, it must have been something to do with the Euros. I sound so not clued up, well, because I'm not clued up. Because it was mm. Czech, as in Czech, from right. Czech Republic. So Wayne, no, that's a lie. Gary, his brother, is it Gary? The footballer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Hence, he was tweeting about football. He put Czech Republic, and then this, this guy replied, I don't know who he is, but it was really funny, he put, he put Czech, your brother's hard drive, as in Czech <laughs> That's quite funny, isn't it? Yeah, that is funny. <laughs> It's funny, well done. I think his name's like Richard. I was like, going Richard. Yeah, I don't know. It's got to be something dodgy there, but I don't know. Did you watch Maybe it's all just a marketing thing to get those girls to go. This is demographic. 
Well, what, they want to be perved on, do they? <laughs> no, but like, like, it probably does get quite like, that's where all the pretty girls go, so mm. pretty girls. And he had like a Russian girlfriend that was like half his age. Mm. They'd just broken up. Because like, I started looking into him, I, I don't know. I, had, I fell into like a... Didn't he have a kid? He's got kids. Mm, I don't think with the Russian girl. Mm. He's got two, I didn't go, haven't you? Oh yeah, yeah. Mm. God. Crazy. Imagine that being your dad. I think all his kids have different mums though. He's got like four. And they're all like probably grown up, like he had yeah. them adults a long time ago. Well, and all his partners. Old. Yeah, no, it's the same age as my mum. I looked at the year, it's the same year as my mum. It was weird, isn't it? No shade on Judy, I didn't mean that. But all his girlfriends, because I was looking at his previous like spouses or girlfriends, or whatever, and they're all literally like half his age. Like, I don't think he's been with someone at his age. I just think, like, how, how many similarities are you going to have? Like, how many shared interests? But he's obviously got the mindset of their age, so maybe a lot. Mm-hmm. And I was reading about his last girlfriend, and um, apparently the reason they broke up was because she, like, wanted a career. Because <laughs> she wanted a life. So for five years... Oh, my God, I can't speak. For five years, she'd been living, basically, in Ibiza with Wayne, mm. like, just at Ocean Beach. But then she decided that she now I'm yeah. like now she's like twenty eight or whatever. Oh, I actually want a career. And he was like, oh, okay then. Well, we can't be together then. He just wants someone to like be his little. Mhm. <laughs> yeah. Just. I think it's really like old fashioned. Like she should just be like the pretty girl that just sits there at Ocean Beach. Yeah. No, and that's definitely what he's looking for. I mean, she can definitely have a career. Well, now she can. Hmm. That's Scott, isn't it? Have you watched part two of Keeping Up yet? No. I need to. I've just been I watching the thing. Um, I've just been watching the TikTok snippet. Yeah, it, they do ruin it for me though. Mm. They, the man was like, oh, Scott, like, what, what is it about younger girls? <laughs> oh, really? And Scott was like, this is like a really common like misconception. Like, I'm just, younger girls find me good looking because I'm young. It was a bit awkward because oh, I was like, like we obviously are. not. And he said, because he looks young. I was like, mm. you do, but like, it was all quick. So it was like, well, that can't be all of it. Like, you've got to love the younger girl too. Amelia, who Scott's with. That's not Travis's daughter, is it? I don't think that'd be weird, but oh, Travis I'm sure. Baker. Barker. Barker. I'm sure his daughter's called Amelia. Mm. I so thought that'd be that, kind of that, that, that would be awful. But Travis and Courtney, flipping out. They're so saucy. I was watching that old Keeping Up, you know, when they go ice skating, Kendall's like trying to convince Courtney to stay for Christmas. Mm-hmm. Travis is there. In the bottom, it's like Travis Barker, found my friend. So they obviously knew each other for a long time. Oh, uh, yeah. And in the thing, the boy, the producer is like, oh, Scott, do you um, approve? And he's like, if you love them, you want to be happy, so if she's happy, then yeah. Aww. But like, don't get massive strong vibes from Scott. And it was really cute. He was like, you know the one thing that she was like, you haven't done the one thing, so I can't be with you. Mm-hmm. I think I'm staying sober. Because mm-hmm. then the man was like, if Scott kept his sobriety, he would he mm-hmm. stood a chance. She I was saw like, that yeah. clip. Mm-hmm. He was like, um, because she said, was it the infidelity or the mm. whatever substance abuse? Substance abuse. And she said it was a substance abuse because she didn't know about the infidelity until after. Crazy, isn't it? Naughty Scott. Not too squat. <laughs> Stop. Yeah. yeah All about Jordan. I was like, mm, what should I feel about that? What do you mean? Well, elaborate. Chloe was like, I've forgiven Jordan. Well, she's, uh, I didn't watch that clip. She said she'd forgiven Tristan, so she should. Mm-hmm. Forgive she said, I said to Kylie, if she did want to be friends, then please be her friend. I do feel like that was very. And Kim was like, no. Just oh. as a baby, that's why he's still here. Oh uh, yeah, I did see you that. Know that. I was like, mm. they have a yeah. She was like, it's a, it's because he's our family now. But I'm, mm. but Chloe's point was Kylie is family, so Kylie's gonna live a life of regret of not being Jordan's friend, and then needs to let Kylie mm-hmm. be her friend. But look at look at the Tristan his shoes dad, but look after Kylie too, because they were like besties. Oh, I know. That's why I found it so like it's crazy, it's shocking that she actually like broke off their friendship. Mm. It went from one extreme to the other, probably yeah. overnight. Yeah. And if that's your best friend, like, 
obviously you'd be extremely upset with them. Yeah. And probably you would break it off for a bit. You'd wean it off though, wouldn't you? Not like... But I think... Or you know, even you could just say, like, I want some space. Like, mm -hmm. like I need to process this like you cheated with my sister's man. Um, but I feel like if they've had, like, such a... <coughs> oh, my God. Choking. I'm really struggling to swallow. But they have such a strong bond, I feel like they would come back friends. I don't know why. Yeah. Especially now, Chloe's like, you crack on, please be friends well, with Jordan. I'm not excusing what she did, but... No, and like, everyone does make mistakes mm. and everyone is growing, that's what, that's what Chloe said. I, it, but then it is like... Like, Scott's done way worse than that. I know, that... That, I know. that is family. Yeah. I but then, don't think that can be misused. If yeah. It's a family, not mean you can be a dick. No, if you've got a toxic family member, cut them off. That was like in that episode when Kendall was like, what about my dad? And they didn't mm. want to invite Caitlin, but they would invite Scott. And then Chris was like, Caitlin, no, she was like, Scott's never said anything or done anything to hurt his family. And Courtney was like, yeah, <laughs> Excuse me, Chris. But that was such a good point. Like, why couldn't Caitlin come to the party but Scott could? Mm. I don't know. I would have liked it if, like, Travis was there. Travis was there. Kanye. But they just wouldn't have Are they back together? Hill. Travis and Kylie? Yeah, I think so. I think so. I love them two together. Because mm. so. she's been putting up a lot of pictures of them lately. Mm -hmm. There was that one. She said happy Father's Day. And it looked like they were about to kiss, but apparently that's an old photo. Oh. When they I think he was at a show the other day and he was like said something like my wife. Mm. Yeah. That means I reckon maybe them two's on the way. I think you're right. Probably. I definitely think she's gonna like mm -hmm. if she likes it. And sure, oh my God, I'm choking again. Surely, um, baby number two for Chloe's on the way. Because mm. in the um, yeah. last season, they're looking into surrogacy. Mm -hmm. That's why I think that's about Scott and um, Travis and Courtney. In the last season, which was filmed like before Christmas, I'm not even that old though, like. Yeah. Seven months ago, he's fully like, Courtney, I want to be with you, like, I'm in love with mm -hmm. you. So, seven months later, he's on a chat show that how do you feel about Travis Barker? Mm. He's like, Oh, he's right. <laughs> yeah. Did you, like, it is hard, isn't it? To... Mm. He was fully committed, wasn't he? I feel like she was getting there as well. Well, no, she wasn't. She said she wasn't, but. He did treat her really badly. I think people forget. I want to go back and watch. Yeah, Because no, season... <coughs> I don't remember anything. No, I didn't watch seasons for anyone. Mm. Me neither. I only joined in that 2016, really. Mm. I only remember like him being a dickhead in general, like. He was being a dickhead in terms of substance abuse. When yeah, like when he it. shoved the money in his, that's like the earliest thing I remember, like when he shoved the money in the waiter's mouth. Remember that? <gasps> yeah. But like, I don't remember any storylines between him and Courtney. Literally, in the, so I was going to start from the beginning, but then I was like, Phew. Got a lot to not let myself in here before. But I watched um, the first episode of season one. Mm -hmm. Literally in that episode, we cheated on her. In that, that episode is so juicy. It's literally season one, episode one. They talk about Kim's sex date. Mm. And Scott cheats on Courtney. In the first episode. But so they, it's when they first get together. So, And they're saying, like, oh, is he too young? Because I think Scott's 24. He was 23 when he started. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, but I I heard that in the what you're about in the what's it called the reunion. Yeah, I heard that in the reunion. But when I did my research, she was twenty four. Oh, well, she might have just wrong. it might have been just before twenty four. Twenty fourth birthday, and Courtney was twenty eight. Hmm. So there's a four year age gap. Because that's how I worked out. I looked at when the first season was filmed. I looked at. How old Courtney was, and then said so there's four year age gap. Pardon me. Hmm. Um, so, yeah, and in the first episode, they're like, oh, is he too young? And like, he's behaving for you, Courtney. That was what Chris was saying. Mm. Um, but Where did then, it come from? But even then, like, 20, you're 24? Yeah. I, I don't feel like. If someone was 24, I wouldn't be like, oh, they're just immature. Mm -hmm. I'd be like, they're just a dickhead. 
Like maybe. Maybe ask me when I'm 24, but. I don't know. Anyway, that was another thing as well that they talked about was um, Kim and her marriage with Chris. Is it Chris? Humphreys. Mm. Humphreys. <laughs> How mm. awkward. Yeah, when she like, I knew that I didn't want to marry him. I think yeah, that would be me. The that night would be before me. their wedding, they were doing rehearsal or whatever. And Chris Jenner was like, I'll just put you in a car mm. and I'll take, like, I'll t it'll take you away and I'll deal with the rest. <laughs> Imagine that. I would do that for you. At your wedding, I'd be like, come on. Obviously, yeah. if you want to marry them, then I wouldn't. No, I know, but like. <laughs> but I'd love, yeah, how scary. Like, there obviously must have been vibes there that this was yeah. a bad idea. Yeah. Why is it such a bad idea? See, I didn't watch their. Because they mm -hmm. were together when it was Courtney and Kim take Miami or something. It's probably just quite close. No, I don't think it was Miami. Oh, what was it? New York? Yeah, it might be New York. Yeah, because they were staying in like a small apartment, like Courtney Scott, Kim, and Chris. Mm. I haven't watched that either. Have you? No. Apparently, they just really didn't get on or something. Mm. Like, just, I don't know. Just like in a chore, like bickering, like. Didn't have the same. Mm. They weren't on the same path. It's sad about her and Kanye. Mm. But also, Kanye, I'm sorry, he's. You're not a fan, are you? No. I am. Have you seen his tweets? Well, yeah, I'm not a fan. I don't know, I'm just like, it's something. I feel like, well, yeah. Not right. Yeah, yeah that's the point. Mm. That's why I'm a bit more like, mm. Mm. <laughs> And I just think, anyway, from what I saw from the, we talk like we know them, but no. <laughs> we're just on our small YouTube channel, just giving a bit of commentary. From the clip that I saw in one of the last episodes, Kim was like crying and like she was like I'm a failure like mm. I can't be I can't be there for him like in Clevedon or wherever the hell he's moved to this time and I'm like no Kim like you've got f four kids you can't just uproot to mm -hmm. wherever he is whenever he just because he just decides like this he wants to live in this state yeah. this week this state the next week like you can't just uproot your entire family and follow him around like he needs to be more grounded mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. So I felt really bad for her. Yeah. I don't think she's I don't think that's a failed marriage. I think that's just mm -hmm. what it is, but you know what I mean. Kendall really annoyed me in the reunion. Yeah. I was she's, like, shut up. She just isn't a bit annoying, isn't she? She was always my favourite and she kinda of still is, but like she was a bit annoying in that kind of like when they she's said like quite cool, the cool, like, calm, collective. She was like, I don't like how they make it always our fault, which is a good point. Like, so, because that's because that's when it came up about the Kardashian curse. Yeah, she's had like some of the worst like public scandals as well. Yeah, like a Pepsi ad. And I'm sure there was another, wasn't there? Yeah, wasn't it a similar thing? Wasn't and then, like when she tried to do it, like, like redeem it. herself. Yeah, was it this her skin stuff? Mm. Oh yeah, well she's done that as well. She'd had, she had now for, um, what's that skin company? This really big in America company. Oh, I don't know. There's like this skin company, it's big in America, and she didn't have them, like, completely clear up my skin. And they're like, no, I didn't. Mm. Like, you got a million and one facials, like, that didn't clear up your skin. Yeah, and she said, um, the man asked, asked him, do you think you set unrealistic beauty standards? Oh, did he? And she was like, no, we all ha like pride ourselves on having a really healthy lifestyle. Like, like, yeah, you may work out, get up every day and have like dietitians that are making all these things. And that's how you maintain your amazing mm -hmm. bodies. But you did not get that from that. Yeah. You, yeah. Kendall yeah, you know, maybe actually. Cause, well, no, I'm sure she's had work done. I'm sure she's had work done. But like Kim was like, yeah, yeah. So I'm thinking. Oh, <laughs> Chloe was like, I've not had any plastic surgery. All I've had is a nose job. I thought. And that's the first time she admitted that as well. Yeah. Um, I'm sure they've all had a nose job because I was watching early yeah. the early seasons of Keeping Up and I'm sure Kim has. Mm-hmm. Kylie Kim's, has. Kim's nose, yeah, like they all have. Kylie's had so much work done, she was so silent. I was like, yeah. Just say it, there's nothing wrong with it. But, and also, like even, so obviously they've had that. And then they've also had like the opportunity to be to live healthy because they can pay for things like yeah. dietitians and PTs to come to your house whenever you bloody want. Yeah. 
and they can pay, put a gym in their back garden. Yeah, yeah. and they can pay for all these like foaming things so they don't get wrinkles. Mm -hmm. Like they've got such a advantage because of their money. Well, because that's like Courtney as well. Because Courtney, was, like, I don't think Courtney has done much. Mm, I don't either. But and well, they're all like, oh, it looks so good for forty two or whatever she is now. But like, you've hundred percent had like the full toning treatment. Yeah. Firming everything. Right. So that's not completely on your own, is it? No, and it's like I think they get away with it when they say like, what class is plastic surgery? Mm. Like, I don't think they've had surgery. If yeah. Well, they have, but like you can have like these firming treatments. Yeah. You can completely change yourself without having, like, I think... Without actually incisions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can just have things on your skin, can't you? Mm-hmm. Well, like filler. You can do so much yeah. with filler. That's not mm -hmm. plastic surgery. Mm-hmm. You have you seen the one, you ever seen Tana Mojo? And they're like, I'm just with, um... Oh, there's a name of the clinic that they all go to. Oh, Is it like Elite? Elite? No, I don't know. Elite something. And she's like on the phone. And then she's like showing behind and they're like doing like that bum oh, thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like the bum toning and firming thing. Mm -hmm. That's how they all get done. I think we're just bitter. You know, but the wealth does put them at an advantage. 100%. Mm -hmm. And that's not even to go into like the editing. Because that's why I think that's oh, why God, Chloe yeah. it got ruined for Chloe. Like she is the, probably the most natural one of them all, Chloe. Face wise. Mm -hmm. But she f the photo. Editing. Do them. Like, have you seen the one of Kim where her finger like falls into her belly? <laughs> she's like, my new skin, and her finger literally goes, <laughs> she's like, it's like, on a right hand down. <laughs> yeah. Is it like, her, she goes over her waist? Yeah. That's so funny. Oh my god, you're gonna keep an up my bum. But I'm, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I'm glad, like, it's more of the, like, talked about. Yeah. Um,. Me. Guess whose birthday is next week? Oh. This week? No, what? Oh, when's this going up? Okay, I'll get it up. We can get it up at the beginning of the week, maybe. Yeah. So, guess whose birthday is this week? <laughs> 21. Do I like you? I'm feeling 21. <laughs> is there actually a 21 one? Oh, that's kind of sad. Yeah, Khaled has one. I was listening to it the other day. <gasps> what? How's it go? Mm -hmm. But it starts and it goes. You've just turned 21. Oh, let's say that. Yeah. Can't wait. Um, Should I tell you through my plans? Yeah. I'm having sort of a family day. Like, I'm going to see my family and my grandmas and things. Gosh. And then, do you know what else has managed to fall on my birthday? The, like, semi-finals. <gasps> on my birthday. So I shall be watching that. It's brilliant. That's fun. I hope England's there and make it worthwhile. Yeah, that's fun. That's fun. Um, and then, because I was going to go for a, like dinner, but basically I'm going to London the next day with my madre and my what's dad in that one? Padre. Padre. And Rex. I was going to say, I don't know what boyfriend is. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> um, so we're going the day after my birthday, going to stay the night, so have two full days in London. And we've got a really nice dinner book for us, so I have to show you. Where are you going? Do you know what it's called? Sky Garden. Oh, I recognise that name. Yeah. Look cool. It's like, on, it's like right up on the top. Wow. <clears throat> so, wow. that's sort of like my birthday dinner, which will be in London. And then, oh, so yeah, two full days. And then I will get back Friday. And then on Saturday, we're going to go out to a bar called Opa with my friends. And we'll have a lovely time. Yeah, so I've actually like prolonged it. I've got a whole week of celebration. Do you know what? I had a wonderful 21st birthday, but I do wish I prolonged it a bit more. Because really? it was like bath, and then I wake up so hungover, and it was the day. Mm -hmm. And it was like crash and burn. I did that, for on, my I did that on my 18th. Mm. My 18th, I remember it was like celebrating in the evening, and then I was so hungover for like the family day. Yeah, I felt awful. <laughs> Oh, I'm doing it the other way around this time. Family day's coming first. Yeah, uh, and to be fair, I quite like to have a family day on my birthday if I mm. hadn't wasn't been hungover. Mm. Yeah, but yeah, how exciting! Twenty one, both of us. I'm having like peep freeze in my garden. I've got like a balloon. Out. <gasps> I'm really excited for cake. cake. 
Oh, yeah. wow. We're having like, like fruit. Yeah, like Rex's Big friends fruit. will be here. Fun! This is going to be a good for a week. Good we could vlog it. Could do. Good vlog, get ready. Can you tell me what you want to film? Yeah, we could do a get ready. Yeah. Because I'm working till three and then I'm free from three. I'm all yours. All day. See you. We'll have a, no, a whole new bunch of 21st birthday vlogs. Yeah. Videos exciting. coming your way. But let us know if you have any ideas. Mm-hmm. Because we're all yours. <laughs> we're all yours all summer. <laughs> Please subscribe. Turn on your noties. I still sound called it noties. Yeah. Oh, yeah. that level. Yeah. Turn on your noties. And like. Like. If you make it to the end of the video. Comment. Um. Just keeping up. Just the words keeping up. Um, but we'll see you in the next video. <laughs>